Yes. Did you take a test on the day of the debate, I guess, uh, is the bottom I line? I probably did, and I took a test the day before and the day before, and I was always in great shape, and I was in great shape for the debate. As president, I can't be locked in a room someplace for the next year and just stay and do nothing. And every time I go into a crowd, uh, I was with uh, the parents of our fa fallen heroes. These people are the most incredible people. And they came up to me, and they would hug me, and they would touch me, and I'm not going to not let them do it. When a president doesn't wear a mask or makes fun of folks like me when I was wearing a mask for a long time, then, as you know, people say, well, it mustn't be that important. After contracting COVID-19 yourself, has your opinion changed on the importance of mask wearing? No, because I was okay with the masks. I was good with it, but I've heard many different stories on masks. If you listen to the head of the, of the CDC, he stood up and he said, you know, while we're waiting for a vaccine, he held up a mask. You wear this mask, you'll save more lives between now and the end of the year than if we had a vaccine. I knew it was a big threat. At the same time, I don't want to panic this country. I don't want to go out and say, everybody's going to die. Everybody's Isn't going to die. Isn't there a middle okay. ground? You don't no, have to mislead, but you can. No, 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 there's not a middle ground. You have to be safe, you have to be vigilant, and you have to be smart. Besides, you ain't black. What do you have to say to young black voters who see voting for you as further participation in a system that continually fails to protect them? Well, I say, first of all, as my buddy John Lewis said, it's a sacred opportunity to right to vote. You can make a difference. If young black women and men vote, you can determine the outcome of this election. Not a joke. You can do that. Mr. President, what will you and your administration do to better prepare our law enforcement officers to work in collaboration with the communities that they serve and also to protect the lives of innocent black and Latinos from police brutality and injustice. Right, I fully understand the question and uh, I saw everything that you saw over the summer and it was a terrible thing, a terrible thing to watch. And some people don't like it when I say it, but a lot of people agree. I have done more for the African-American community than any president with the exception of Abraham Lincoln. You said you don't, you don't want to ban fracking. As you know, it's an important issue here in Pennsylvania. Not everyone buys your denial. A member of the Boilermakers Local 154, Sean Stephanie, was quoted in the New York Times today saying, you can't have it both ways. He says you can't meet your goal to end fossil fuels without ending fracking. What do you say to people like Sean who doubt your denial because they think you're, you want to keep that promise well, and fossil fuels? Tell overwhelmingly endorse me, okay? What I would do is I would stop making, I would stop giving tax breaks and subsidizing oil. We don't need to subsidize oil any longer, number one. We should stop that and save billions of dollars over time. What I would also do with regard to, there's no, the difference between me and the new Green Deal, they say automatically by 2030, we're going to be carbon free. Not possible. So are you for it or against it? You say you're not for it, but in your website it says you call it a crucial framework. The Green my, deal. My, my deal is a crucial framework. I'm sure they'll ask you the white supremacy question. I denounce white supremacy. Okay. And frankly, you want to know something? I denounce Antifa and I denounce these people on the left that are burning down our cities that are run by Democrats who don't right, know what they're doing. While we're denouncing, let me ask you about QAnon. I just don't know about QAnon. You do know. I don't know. No, I don't know. What I do hear about it is they are very strongly against pedophilia. And I agree with that. I mean, I do agree okay. with that. And I agree but with it But there's not a strongly. satanic uh, pedophile cult being no run idea. by. I have no idea. I know nothing about You don't know that? that? Okay. No, I don't know you that. Just and neither, this and neither week, do you know that. Okay, just this week, you retweeted to your 87 million followers a conspiracy theory that Joe Biden orchestrated to have SEAL Team 6, the Navy SEAL Team 6, killed to cover up the, the fake death of bin Laden. Now, why would you send a lie like that to your followers? It. You Can retweeted it. That was a retweet. That was a, an opinion of somebody, but and that was a retweet. I'll put it out there. People can decide for themselves. I don't the take president. a position. You're not like someone's crazy uncle. Your own FBI director says there is no evidence of widespread oh, really? fraud. Well, then he's not doing a very good job. If I'm elected president, you will not hear me race baiting. You'll not hear me dividing. You'll hear me trying to unify and unify with bring people together. When I said I was running because I wanted to unify the country, people said, well, there were the old days. We better be able to do it again. You better be able to do it again. Mr. Vice President, if you lose, what will that say to you about where America is today? Well, it could say that I'm a lousy candidate and I didn't do a good job. Um, but I think, uh, I, I hope that 
it doesn't say that we are as racially, ethnically, and religiously at odds with one another as it appears. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.